Hello, here's Alina. This video I will show you how to use Python to do the exploratory data analysis. In this video, there are two parts of code that I will show you. The first is data wrangling and the data parallelization. And the second part is exploratory statistical and the parallelization. So let's start. Firstly, we can import some libraries. As you may know, the NumPy, which is a very famous package in Python, it is used for the mathematical computing and for the numerical data. I think it is similar to MATLAB pandas. Of course, it is used for data wrangling, for the analytics, and it is very popular for data science. I think it is similar to dplyr and tidyr in our language. And then the Sable, which is my favorite virtualization package, and also Matplotlib, it is also for virtualization. And there are some very basic but very helpful virtualization functions. And after we import the libraries and execute our code, then we can upload the data. For Google Colab, we have very useful code directly upload the data. You can code just like what I have done here. And then you can click choose file and then upload the CSV of avocado here. It takes some time, but it's so okay. Just take your time and be relaxed and enjoy the music. Here you go, we are finished. Then we can go to the next step, read the data. We can use the I.O. package and just use pandas to read the CSV data. There are lots of other different types of read data. In this video, we just use the read CSV because the original data are in CSV. What's important is don't forget the separate. In this data, the separation is comma, so I add the separation at the end. So next step is get a quick view of the first 10 rows of data. It is very helpful for me to have an overview about the data. We can see each columns and we can see the first 10 rows. Then next step, I'm going to show you how to check the data type and check abnormality of each columns. As you can see, for each column, they will show you the data type and how many non-zeros. And after that, I'm going to show you how to plot the histogram of the numerical data. It is very easy to directly use the Matplotlib to plot the histogram for each color. And then here I will define some figure cells and label size. As we can see, we have already know the distribution of the average price and also the distribution of the years of the data. And then let's start with the first part, descriptive analysis. So in this part, I'm going to show you firstly how to summarize the data by using like count the number and know the distinct values. The first example would be check the unique value in a color. For example, you would like to know how many different regions in this color. So you can just use the unique function to check the unique region.
Then maybe you are interested in how many different years there are there in this data set. So you can just check the unique year. And then let's check the unique type. Which kind of avocado there are in this data set? As we can see, we have conventional and organic. So this gives us the information that we should check the different press for the different type of avocado. And the second step is the group by data and summarize data. We always use these kinds of two functions together, group by and summarize. We never just use group by. Okay, let's check the region and check the distinct type of each region. You can just group by, the first is the region, which is the king of the group, and after that, the, you can see for every region, there are just two kinds of types, conventional and organic. And then I'd like to show you how many total volume of each year. So we can group by the data by year, and then we can calculate the total volume. As we can see, for each year, we have the numbers, which is the sum of the total volume. You may be interested in how much total volume each year and for each region. So we can group by two columns. The first column is year and second is region and then you can still use the total volume and the sum it. So here are the sum of the data but they are just 2015 and 2018 show here. You can also check another years by just transform this into the array and then maybe you are interested in the worst the top 10 regions with the highest amount of the total bags. So we can use this group by by region and check the total bags. I use ascending first, that means we just rank the data from highest to the lowest. So here are the top 10. Of course, the total US is the highest. And then I'm going to show you how to do the statistical description of the average press in each year and for each region. We can still use the group by, but this time we group by firstly by year and then by region. And after that, it is the uh, column that we would calculate is the average price. So we can see all the descriptive statistics of this average price. And then we can start the realization of the statistical analysis. So firstly, we can check the, the average prices and with the KDE. KDE is a kernel density estimation. Y axis shows you what is the probability density function, but it is estimated based on the functions. Then we can plot the histogram of average price for different type. So there are two kinds of types, conventional and organic. Of course, they have different price, so we can check the histogram of different types of avocado. By using this count plot, we, we can see these two kinds of avocado are distributed differently. In the end, I'm gonna show you how to plot the distribution of the avocado price for different region and for different type of avocado. So I will use the real plot which can separate the plot into different types. As 
you can see, they separated into conventional and organic. And for each plot, they have the different years and regions. And you can see the skater plot here, and to get the feelings about their price trending here. The last but not the least, I'd like to show you how to do the bar plot here. It's just an example. As you can see, for conventional and for organic, the seared total bags are increased. Thanks for watching, and of course, there are still lots of other focus, other statistics, and other exploratory data analysis. Here is just the basic, and I hope you guys enjoy this processing and explore it by yourself. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe it, and I will upload other interesting videos later. Bye!